coming up a lot in the group online and in the class is about difficult emotions and how to handle difficult emotions. We've talked a lot about, and basically in all my videos and in the classes and in the group, we, we talk a lot about accepting how we feel and validating it and allowing our emotions to speak to us, allowing our emotions to have a voice and learning to listen to them. But one of the dangers we run when we really start tuning into our emotions is allowing them to run us, allowing them to master us. And that is not when we allow our emotions to totally run us in that way and inform everything we do, we run the risk of feeling out of control because our emotions, again, they're only indicators. They're not meant to be our masters. They're just, they're just there. Again, they're there, there as indicators to help us know where we're at so we know where, how far the distance is between where we're at and where we want to go. There's no emotion that's wrong. There's no emotion that is out of context. Every emotion is just giving you an indication of where you are. So it's super important to just release judgment about your emotions and just allow them to inform you. Allow them to be your informants. But do not allow them to master you. So a lot of times what happens is when we, well, let's say we feel triggered about something and we go into it, like, how do I feel? We're asking ourselves how I feel. And then we feel, we realize we feel really upset or there's a really difficult emotion. And then we immediately try to go in, okay, when was the first time I felt this way? And we try to like go into these deep emotions and analyze them in the moment. And a lot of times we approach them as problems to be fixed. We approach ourselves and how we feel as a problem to be fixed, which actually is the energy of you're not okay. How you feel is not okay, and I have to fix you, which is the opposite of what of what we're trying to do, which is validate and soothe ourselves. Like the the act, the, what we want to do is say it's okay. How I feel is okay. It's okay. And when you're really triggered, if you're really triggered about something in the moment, if you try to go into it and try to fix it or solve it or figure it out so that it, you can have release from it in the moment, a lot of times all that does is trigger you more and more and more because the emotion itself will feel like it's under attack, like it's not supposed to be there and that it's that you're somehow trying to get rid of it. Um, so what I recommend, and it's so easy to, and I, I do this all the time because I'm such a big um, promoter of healing and soothing the emotional body. So a lot of times I do go into my emotions and I do go deep into them. But I have gotten out of balance many times in my life where I, 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 I allow my emotions to run me. I allow them to sort of control me. And I sometimes I feel like I can't function because I'll go too deeply into traumas and too deeply into emotions. And then I just feel so like, like I'm drowning in them. And so I've really had to learn. I have had to learn and remind myself all the time that I am the master. I get to, I get to choose how I feel. And the, although emotion an emotion may come up that's upsetting to me, it doesn't get to run me. So I can validate it and I can just say thank you. Okay, so if it's a very upsetting or triggering emotion, I allow myself to say, okay, I feel this way. That's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you, emotion, for letting me know where I'm at in this particular subject. I will attend to it. I will come back and attend to this when I feel like I'm more prepared, when I feel like I have the tools to do it. But thank you for letting me know. So it's like you're not fighting and wrestling the emotion. You're just allowing it to be without judgment. But you're also not allowing it to just come in and take over your whole day because we, we all have to live. We all have to live every day. We all have things that we have to attend to and things we have to do. And it's not really... For most people, it's not really plausible to go deep into every single emotion that you feel at any given time. And not only is it not really plausible, I don't think it's wise because when we're triggered, we are not in a state of, of wholeness. We're not really in a state of, we don't think rationally when we're really triggered and when we're really upset. And so I don't think it's a time to go in with our rational sort of minds and try to understand an emotion. So the emotion tells us where we are. So we have an indicator. Oh, ooh, okay. This is an area that I'm clearly, um, that there's something going on, so I, it needs attendance, but it doesn't necessarily need me to attend to it right now. If it feels good to, if you feel, when you feel it, like it feels like relief to go into the emotion and to maybe validate it, sometimes cry, then do it. If it feels like you're like 
trying to run from it and suppress it. And that feels really uncomfortable. You know, and it's, this is really, again, paying attention to how you feel. So if something comes up and you're just trying to fight it, you're just trying to push it down, you're just trying to act like it's not there, it will feel like it will bring up more um, unsettledness. You'll feel more unsettled. You'll feel more like you're running from something. Then maybe try to go validate yourself a little bit more. Or journal or do something that brings any sort of sense of relief just so even if you tell yourself sometimes for me it works just to say "Ooh, okay I realize that this is an area that um, I that needs attention that I'm there's something going on and it's okay and I validate it and I'll come back to it when I can or sometimes in the moment it feels like I need sometimes I'll just cry and that feels like a relief because all I needed to do all that was needed is a validation of how I felt a validation that something hurt me because often especially in the spiritual community we want to feel like we're above everything we're above being hurt we're above feeling offended by anybody and we're above all this stuff when all the when really and a lot of times what we're doing is just denying how we feel and so we try to pretend oh that didn't hurt me oh that doesn't bother me oh this doesn't and then it builds up and builds up and builds up and you need to cry because all that's needed is a validation of your emotion. It doesn't mean that you need to act act out, be angry at somebody. And usually when you allow yourself to feel, oh, that did hurt me, and you just give yourself validation, your emotion validation, then you really can let it go. And you can sort of be clear about it because then you can come in with your sort of more rational side of your mind and say, okay, I understand that did hurt me. And I understand that it it comes from, that came from a child, a past childhood thing. And that person just triggered me. And, but it's okay that I feel that way. And, and I'm glad my emotions came up and I'm glad my emotions are telling me how I feel. And I'm glad that I have emotions and I'm, you know what I mean? So it's a whole different thing from, from just denying how we feel and trying to pretend like we're spiritually above having emotion about things. So it's really tuning into what is actually going on, not running from it, not acting like it doesn't exist, not spiritually bypassing, but giving ourselves what we need in the moment. And sometimes with deep trauma, we don't always need to go into it in the moment. A lot of times when I'm triggered about certain things, I know, I already know what it's related to. I already know that it's a childhood thing. It's something that I've been working on for a while. And if I allow in that moment, a lot of times I'll feel like I'm failing because I'll get triggered again. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I've worked on this so much. It must mean I'm failing in some way. And I'll feel like I have to figure it out and fix it or else I'm somehow not healed or not, not doing the spiritual work or not, not um, progressing. And I've realized that all I need to do in those moments, what has really helped is just been like, oh, okay, I, I see, I'm present to my emotion, I see what I feel, I understand what I feel, I validate how I feel, and it's okay, and thank myself, again, thank my emotional body for having the, the, the wisdom that it does to help keep me safe, and help keep me aware, and help keep me healthy, and then I'll, I say, I'll come back to this. This is something I'll come back to when, when, I'm, when I have better tools or when I'm feeling a little bit better. Because I know when I'm triggered, it's a weak point for me. And if I go into it in that moment really deeply, if I try to figure it out, if I try, in other words, if I try to bring my rational mind into a completely emotional subject, I just get more upset and more triggered and more, um, I feel like I'm failing. So I remind myself, I'm not failing, I'm just feeling, and my emotions are okay, there's nothing wrong with feeling, and I'm thankful for my emotions, and this is just an indicator for me showing where I'm at in this moment, because in other, sometimes in other moments, I'm fine, and I don't get triggered, but there's, there's, we are a mix of vibration every single day, and there's times that we're, we have, we're more emotionally vulnerable than other times. And especially as women, I don't know, I don't know how men feel, but I know as women, especially with our hormones at certain times of the month, we're just more vulnerable. We're more sensitive. So there's certain times of the month that I will be re I'll get really, really, really upset about certain things. And I'll feel like, oh my gosh, like where is all this emotion coming from? And in reality, it's just hormonal. And I ha and and I'll just remind myself, oh, okay, not that I invalidate how I feel because all of it's still completely valid, but I remember I'm just more vulnerable right now, and that's okay. I'll come back to this in terms of trying to rationally understand it when and, and heal from it, like where it's coming from, what's going on, 
when when I feel more ready. And sometimes I realize I don't need to. All I needed was just to feel the emotion and that's it. So emotions are one of those things that they're not, they don't necessarily, they don't want to be, the emotion themselves don't want to be put in a box or fixed or controlled. They just are meant to be felt. That's it. So if you're feeling the emotion, that's it. And it's usually when we're in deep triggers, it's usually when we try to somehow wrestle it to the ground and understand it and fix it and control it that we get more and more and more triggered or upset. So with difficult emotions, it's it's hard because when we do when we are feeling emotions like um, hurt or frustration or negativity in any way, or we're, we're triggered by something, we want to run from it because they're, they're uncomfortable emotions. They feel uncomfortable and we want to fix that. We, we naturally want to feel better, but we don't necessarily have to solve the emotional crisis in order to feel better. It's again, one of those times where it's like, okay, I feel this way and it's okay. I accept it. And when, when you, some, sometimes people talk about feeling how they have a hard time even accessing how they feel. And this is the other side of it. The other side of difficult emotions is a lot of us have triggers and trauma that are buried so deep and we want to be able to go in and heal. But when we're trying to force it, we try to force ourselves to feel, we try to force ourselves to have emotion about things. We try to force ourselves to understand what we feel. And then we have frustration and we're triggered by that because we feel like we can't even access our emotions. So this is the other side of the coin of difficult emotions because the emotion of not being able to access how you feel is difficult in and of itself. And then a lot of us feel like we're failing. Um, I don't usually have this problem because I'm the opposite. I'm usually too emotional, but I've worked with several pieces people recently that have have talked to me about that, that they feel very, very shut down from their emotions. And then they're trying to heal and do work. And then they feel more frustrated because they feel like they can't access how they feel. And then they feel like they're failing. Again, it's super important to just meet yourself where you're at and say, it's okay. So if you find your yourself in that place where you can't access how you feel, just say, okay, right now I can't access how I feel. I don't know what I feel. That's okay. That's okay. That in and of itself is an indication to me of where I'm at. And that's okay. And in each moment, I will do my best to be present to to myself. So I'll continue to ask myself, where am I right now? And it's okay if I don't feel anything. That's not failing. We're not failing. And if we're a lot of times if we're not feeling and if we have those um, barriers set up, it's for good reason. Our emo- our bodies are very smart and our we our bodies have its own defense mechanism. And it's there for a reason. Our our defense mechanisms are there for a reason. A lot of times if you try to go in and dig up trauma when you're not ready, it can be very detrimental. Um, so don't try to force yourself to feel either. Don't try to force yourself to dig up emotions to try to heal. If they come up naturally, then attend to them and just notice what you're feeling. Notice when you're starting to pay attention to your emotional body, for those of you who feel very out of touch with it, notice when you feel like you're suppressing something and notice when you feel like you're allowing yourself to be in the moment and, and feel good or feel, just try to, try to tune in and just notice what you're feeling in any given moment, but don't try to force yourself to feel anything. And especially don't try to dig up trauma because if you are someone who has, your body has numbed you out to emotions, there's a very good reason for it. And it's it's important to just respect it. At any given time, just respect your emotional body. Respect where you are. Respect your emotional body and know that it has its own intelligent system. But you get to be the master of it. So it doesn't get to control you. You get to... The, the point is, is you are always the one who gets to decide in any given moment where you want to put your focus. And you can always choose to feel better now. The only reason any of us do anything in this life, what, no matter what it is that we do, we think in some way it'll make us feel better. Whether we numb out, whether we act out, whether we eat to suppress our emotions, or whether we're really doing something that's joyful and really giving us a sense of pure relief. We, we do what we do because we think it's going to make us feel better. And most of us look at the world around us and we think, We think if the world around me changes, then I'll feel better. So we feel helpless and we feel powerless because we feel like we will never feel better unless this person changes or unless the world changes or the government changes. But when it comes to mastering your emotions, it's getting to the place where you realize I get to feel better now. I can choose to feel better now, even if it's just a little bit better. I don't ever have to depend on someone else or something else to change outside of me to feel better. I get to feel better now. 
and I get to choose where I direct my focus. So I'd love to hear what you guys think about this, and thanks for listening. Ciao.